Well, I'm super excited to kick off a brand new playlist documenting our smart home journey from planning and building our eco-friendly house in Brazil to putting all the smart pieces together. Now, this journey has been an incredible adventure filled with challenges, big decisions and some game changing experiences. Well, we just didn't want to build a home. We wanted to create a smart, sustainable space that reflects our lifestyle and future needs. So in this video, I'll take you behind the scenes sharing every step of the process from land selection to land excavation to laying out the foundation and to the innovative use of light steel frame construction. So basically from start to almost finish that made our home not just beautiful, but intelligent and most importantly, efficient. And when I say almost finish is that once you finish and build your home, I mean, it's never finished. It's a never ending journey. So let me know in the comment section if you feel the same as well. So this video is broken into two main parts. The first 10 minutes Minutes, we will go through all the planning phase where you will get to see firsthand how we work with the architects and engineers to bring our vision on paper. And the next 10 minutes of the video is a non-stop execution from the ground up of transforming our vision to life. I mean, we are sharing it all. So don't worry, I've broken down the video into chapters, making it easy to script through as well. So. If you're passionate about sustainability and having a tech forward house or just curious about what it takes to build one. So let's jump right in. Now, when it came to selecting the land for our dream home, we didn't just pick a plot that fit our needs. We chose that one that presented a real challenge. This high slope wasn't the easiest choice, but it offered something no other property could, an unbeatable view overlooking nature. We just fell in love with it. From the beginning, we knew this land wasn't going to make things easy. The steep incline meant that building here would require creative solutions and a lot of determination. But as soon as we stepped onto the property and saw the view, we knew it was worth every challenge. Standing here, we were surrounded by nature, lush greenery and a sky that seems to stretch on forever. So basically, the slope dictated every part of our design from the multi-level layout to the strategic placement of windows that capture every bit of the incredible view. Now, once we purchased the land and before any design work could begin, one of the most critical stages was getting the topography of our land accurately mapped out. This wasn't just a formality. It is the foundation of our architectural project, especially when building on a challenging terrain like a slope. So for our project, it was essential for the architect to understand the exact shape and behavior of the land before putting any ideas on paper and for a sloped site like ours, it helped determine where the foundation needed to be reinforced, where retaining walls should go, and how to manage water drainage effectively. So in short, what I learned was that topography was the starting point that made the rest of our design process possible. It's a step that we couldn't skip when building on a complex terrain as it lays the groundwork literally and figuratively for turning our dream into reality. Now, after we completed the topography, our architect had a detailed understanding of our land's unique feature. This critical information and data became the blueprint for designing our home that would perfectly fit the slope, taking full advantage of the natural terrain. Now, with this data, the topography informed key decisions such as how to position the house to maximize stability and views while minimizing excavation. It also helped decide the ideal placement of key elements like retaining walls and outdoor spaces. And using 3D modeling software, the architect overlaid the house design onto the topographic map. This step was crucial because it allowed us to visualize how the home would sit on the slope in real life, highlighting potential challenges and opportunities early in the design process. The interior layout was also influenced by the topography. Rooms were strategically placed to capture the best views and spaces like the garage and basement were integrated into the low sections of the slope, optimizing both function and aesthetics. In the end, 
our architect turned the land's challenges into opportunities, creating a design that doesn't just sit on the land but interacts with it. Each level of the house is perfectly positioned to maximize the view, turning a tricky slope into a home that feels connected to the landscape. Now with our architectural designs finalized, the next crucial step was planning the electrical and hydraulic systems. These weren't just about pipes and wires. They're about ensuring our home was set up smart, efficient, and sustainable. Now for the electrical project, we knew from get-go that we wanted a smart home as well as we were going to install solar panels. This meant everything needed to be tightly integrated. Now the key to making the, this all work was having a dedicated electrical plan that was also smart home compatible. Remember, smart home technology requires precise electrical work, reliable power source, and the wiring must be future-proof for upgrades. This planning allowed us to seamlessly integrate all our smart home features right from the beginning rather than trying to retrofit them later. Equally important was our hydraulic project. We wanted a system that didn't just manage water but also supported rainwater harvesting which is crucial for sustainability especially in a tropical country like Brazil. Our hydraulic engineer designed a system that captures rainwater from the roof and channels it into a storage rich tanks. This harvested water is filtered out for non-portable purposes like irrigation and cleaning, basically reducing our reliance and dependency on municipal water. This same plan also mapped out the entire water flow ensuring efficient drainage around the house. Now together these plans created our home that was not just smart but also environmentally conscious which was the backbone of our daily comfort, convenience and sustainability efforts. Now one of the most exciting parts of our journey was transforming ours and the architect's vision into a live steel frame project. This process essentially turned our architectural design into a structural one, allowing us to know upfront how strong the house would be, whether the design was balanced and how much material was needed before construction even began. Now to do this, we had to hire a light steel frame structural engineer. What they did was analyze the design and identified which areas needed extra reinforcement. They basically highlighted critical points that required additional steel material and suggested changes to enhance the overall structure. Well, after the first review, the engineer estimated that we would need about 8.5 tons of light steel material to support our initial design and pointed out specific structural concerns that needed addressing. Fortunately, most of the changes were minor, involving small layout tweaks to improve structural integrity. We went through three rounds of revisions with the structural engineer each review helped us resolve all of the concerns and by optimizing the design, we were able to reduce the amount of steel required by about 12%, bringing it down to 7.5 tons. Now, once we approved the final light steel frame project, we received a comprehensive structural document. This include a detailed breakdown of the entire house from the ground up, a complete material list specifying cuts and sizes. The home was compatible with the electrical and hydraulic projects, as well as we received a 3D model that gave us a clear visual of what to expect. This stage of the project was a crucial step in turning our dream into reality, setting the stage for the actual construction of our home on a slope. So now sit back and relax, and without much further delay, this is how we transformed our home project into reality.
So in the end, the challenges of building on a high slope became the reason why our home feels so special. Every day we are reminded why we chose this land. The view is more than a backdrop. It's part of our daily life, bringing a sense of peace and connection to nature that we wouldn't trade for anything. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates on our home building journey and other exciting DIY smart home projects. Until the next time, my friends, cheers and happy automation.